So I must tell you, making tutorials for Next.js is kind of hard. And that is because Next.js is getting developed very, very quickly. And since we started this series, up until now, there are at least 20 new features added to the Next.js framework. One of those features that I want to talk about is stable incremental static regeneration. And that is because we covered something similar in the previous episode. And I told you that when using get static props, you can't refresh your content on the server. Once you push it to the server, you do npm run start. You can't refresh that content that you, that you are getting with get static props. Well, in the latest version of Next.js, you actually can do that. So we are going to be talking about that in this episode. So let's first of all just define the problem like we did in the previous episode. So when you put your site on the server, uh, you need to do two things. You first of all need to build it and then you need to run npm run start. So red, let's just build out our site. You just do npm run build. Okay, now our site has been built and now what we can do, we can start our server. So this is what you would do in production. You just do npm run start. And then your site is going to be ready at localhost 3000. Right, so this is our site. Now let's go to our about page and let's try in Strapi to change the title of that page. Okay, so in Strapi, we just go to pages, go to about and try to change the title. We are just going to add something to the title, click save, uh, go to about page, refresh it. And of course, nothing is happening because to get the data on about page, we are using get static props. And in the previous versions of Next.js, uh, if you use get static props, then what is built, it's built and it's this is the only content that you are going to get uh, on your pages until you rebuild your site again. So now that is not the case anymore with version of 9.5. So just to show you how this works, we are first of all going to update Next.js to the version 9.5 and then I'm going to show you how you can make get static props actually work when you change the content. If you take a look at our package JSON file, we can see that we are currently using 9.3.1. Actually, I'm currently using that version. If you have just started following this series, you probably have the newest version. So I currently am using uh, 9.3.1. Now to update next, you just do npm update next, but this will not work for us as I will just show you right now. So you just do npm, npm update next and nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen because uh, we are don't have that carrot at the beginning of the version and this means use exactly this version of next. So it's never actually going to get updated. Right, so if we go right here again in pack JSON, you can still see that we are currently on version 9.3.1. So you just copy this carrot and this is going to update your versions until 9.999. Right, so when I save this, run npm next I apt npm update next again now our next installation is going to be updated okay so now once this is done if we take a look at our package json file as you can see we are currently using 9.5.1 so now we can use that incremental regeneration of our pages and to do that we are just going to go into about js and all you have to do let me make this bigger all you have to do right here is just below the props, just say revalidate one. So this is going to try to revalidate your data at least once every second on a new request so that it doesn't run into that cache stampede. Uh, so as you will see, uh, this should be working right now. So we don't have to do anything else. Uh, we just go here, run npm run build, of course. So once this is finished, you of course just do npm run start. As you can see, our about page still works. Uh, the title is the same that we have in Strapi because our site has been rebuilt. Now let's just try to change that title again. So if I go right here, 
I change it. Save it. Let's see what the title is going to be right now. So as you can see on the first refresh, nothing happens, happens. But let's try to refresh it again. And now our new data is coming in. So as you can see, this works. And this is actually a static page that has been revalidated. Uh, so next figured out. So there is new data on our server or on our API. So we are going to change that data. So when will you use this? Of course, if you need to show the users absolute up to date data, you will of course use get, uh, get server side props. But uh, if you have pages like this, on which you don't really care if the data is completely up to date or not, or if some users see the up to date data and some users, users don't, then you can use get static props with that revalidate option because it's going to revalidate your data eventually, uh, as you can see here on the second refresh. So you get the best of both worlds. So you are getting statically generated pages which are very quick. And you're also getting the dynamic data, not as quickly as with get server side props, but you will get the data uh, eventually. And as I said, of course, don't use this uh, if you need to show critically up to date uh, content. Okay, so that was all I was meaning to show you in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know it's a little bit shorter video, but I think that's for the best. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.